Hi, it's Olivia, and it's that time of year for the mid-year book the the <laughs> the mid-year book the mid-year book freakout tag. Um, it's as the name says, it comes halfway through the year, and it's kind of reflecting on the books that you've read for the first half of the year. Uh, gotta be honest, haven't really read that much. Not a problem with me. Just I don't really have that many books to choose from to answer these questions. I'll also be sure to tag the original creators in the description. Um, but the very first question is, what's the best book that you've read so far in 2019? Um, I actually don't think I've given anything five stars this year. Uh, I just, I'm so stingy with five stars. Like, I don't know how I just, it has to be, I can't tell you what it has to be to be a five star read. I'll just know it when I read it, but, um, I've had some that are very close, but I think my favorite this year has been um, reading the Death Note series. This is, I don't know which ones these are, but I'm working my way through them. I am way late to this, but seriously, like the concept of the book alone is just amazing and the characters and it's so compelling. Like I cannot put it down once I really like pick it up and start it. And I, the characters are so clever and it seems just seems so well thought out and the, I love the illustrations it's just it's they're really a joy to read in particular I really loved um, the second one what was that I want to say it was confluence I hope number two is the best sequel that you've read so far in 2019 I don't know if this means strictly like book number two or like any you know books after number one aside from the death note books the only sequels that i've read this year are crooked kingdom by leigh bardugo and kingdom of ash by sarah j mass and this will have to be my pick for favorite between these two <laughs> number three is new release that you haven't read yet but want to and for this i'm gonna go with again but better by christine ratio i will say lately i feel like i've seen more mixed reviews but yeah i would like to see what this is about i would like to put in my two cents on uh, and see where i fall with everyone's um, thoughts on this book. Number four is the most the most anticipated release for the second half of the year. You guys, I am so not up to date with upcoming book releases anymore. I don't know what happened. At just one point, I just stopped. I don't know. I, I think it might coincide with when I like kind of really took it down a notch with how much I buy books and I use the library all the time. And I just realized I have no interest, really. I'm, I, I just don't know of, like, all the anticipated books, um, new books coming out. The, really, the only things that appear on my radar are books coming out by authors that I really, really love. And even then, sometimes I forget about them. So I, I just felt like mentioning that because I feel like it's changed how I am at book events. Like, y'all, um, y'all West, or if I were to have gone to BookCon, like, I don't really care about ARCs anymore because I just... I don't have any interest in like the upcoming releases, especially knowing that when they come out, I can just check it out from the library. So, yeah. But anyway, that was not the question. The question was most disparate release. There is one book that I know for sure is coming out this year, and it's Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. I know everyone wants this book, and so do I. Number five is Biggest Disappointment, and I honestly didn't really have any books that were a huge letdown. I'm actually going to pick everything I never told you, but not, don't, uh, don't associate disappointment with how I feel about this book overall, because I actually really did enjoy reading this, but it's the ending, which is why I'm bringing it up for this question. Um, I just felt like it was building up to the ending and getting an understanding of what's happened, and I didn't like it. I, I don't know, I, I'm thinking, I think back on it, and I just, I don't know, I, I, I can't really say anything because that's literally the ending, you know? So if you've read this, I would love to know whether or not you enjoyed it or if you didn't. Number six is Biggest Surprise, and I'm kind of going to cheat with this one because I couldn't really decide on a Biggest Surprise, so I just went with Death Note because it surprised me in that I loved it so much. That, that wasn't a good answer. Let's move on to the next one. Um, <laughs> number seven is Favorite New Author, Debut or new to you. That is going to have to go to Leigh Bardugo. She's not a new author by any means, but she's new to me. I finally got around to her books this year. I know she has the other books in the Grisha world, and I, I plan to get around to them at some point, but I also know that, like, I feel like people don't, uh, think it's as good as these books. Correct me if I'm wrong. Honestly, this duology was great, and I completely understand why it gets all the the raving reviews and hype that it does. Number eight is newest fictional crush. I'm just gonna go with like a literal prince. So the prince uh, from A Princess in Theory by Alyssa Cole. I'm just gonna go with him. I mean, why not go with the Prince Charming? Number nine is newest favorite character. I'm gonna have to go with Rook. I hope I'm saying his name right. If I'm not, 
my apologies, but this dude from the Death Note series and also from that series, L. I love both of them so much. Number 10 is a book that made you cry. There's not a book that made me cry. I don't think there's not even a movie that made me cry or a TV show that made me cry. I am a heartless soul in 2019. And number 11 is a book that made you happy. I'm just going to pick the most recent read, uh, Red, White, and Royal Blue. I had a good time while reading this. It was making me happy, and I've been like kind of stressed out the past few days, so much needed. Number 12 is the most beautiful book that you've bought so far this year or received, and that has to go to Peace and Turmoil by Elliot Brooks. If you don't know this, I'm, I've mentioned this I think several times now, this book, but she's another booktuber, love her videos. I'm clearly a fan of the color purple, and I love the purple scheme going on. Snakes are always, always a good decision for covers, and um, I just like it. And the last question, number 13, sorry if this has felt rushed, because I am rushing. My camera is being very naughty right now, but it's what book do you need to read by the end of the year? I'm gonna bring this one right back. I really, really would love to get to this. Um, I'll be very disappointed in myself if I don't at least read it this year. Um, I'd also love to continue and finish off the entire Death Note saga, and, um, what was the question? What do you need to read by the end of the year? I would just love to finish up. I have a lot of books that I started last year and never finished, and I, it, they bother me so much. There's a lot of them on this shelf, and I really just want to get back to them, so... Yeah, that's how my reading is going so far this year. Let me know your thoughts on anything related to the books or not related to the books. Yeah, um, and I'll see you in another video.